Zoom, 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 swish. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Home has it a new decree. If no more fisting, because I'm sick of NPCs flying through all my hard walls. What is the point in building reinforced antimatter composite buildings when Ohm's just fisting them right through it? Don't you spin that fist. Oh god, that's a power fist. It slots over your actual hand. Oh, ah, uh. So today, fellow rim fisters, oh, that one might be the worst one yet. Good lord. Today, in this here beautiful city of Ohm, fisting is thoroughly banned. And instead, we're gonna build uh, something. I haven't exactly decided yet. I'll be honest with you. What are our options? Let's take a peek here. So by... I mean, DPS doesn't matter. Damage is what matters. Oh, my God. A Shikigami. Steel... Steel Fragment Axe. Still the friggin' Fragment Axes are up there. But armor penetration too. We're fighting guys with 500% armor. Oh, Scissor Blade, like from that anime. One Piece. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, oh my god, Captain Cuba's back. And then, then I remembered, he's only 22. Oh my god, this guy's going to be scarred for life. And death, and life again. 36 damage, 90 armor penetration is actually massive. But I'd like, to, I'd like to vary things a little bit. I just don't want to go for entirely the same weapon. The Void Dust Graze is pretty good as well. Forsaken Battle Axes look pretty, pretty cool. 50 armor penetration is one of the highest DPS. Why don't we make a few of these Forsaken Swords? Because they... They just look incredible. Saken, here we are. Bloody hell, they're expensive. Well, you kind of expect that. Let's make like, uh... Let's make like, uh, two each of these. Then we'll make the scissor blade from Bleach. Okay, okay, I think I've got it. We're gonna make three Forsaken Battle Axe, three Forsaken Bolt Sword, three Forsaken Long Blade, an Impact Hammer for Ohm, made of pure antimatter, three Dust Grazers and Amputators, some weapons from Void, and then three Scissor Blades from Naruto, and three weapons I can't tell you about because they're secrets. Oh, well, shit, I've given it away now. And now I have the small task of making sure they all aren't immediately recycled. Oh! Hello there, Void. Well, this is a nice test for the new weapons. I've been betrayed. I've been betrayed by floor lights. Look at this! Get rid of them. All 153, get rid of them. Oh, excuse me, let me just climb over this floor light. It doesn't count as a floor light if it's just a light that you put on the floor. The horrible names. The horrible names. Fenderdorp tried to woo Susamu by complimenting his punctuality. Ah, there we go. And with that, that should be all of our weapons and armor complete. Where did the hammer he just made go, though? Ah, don't you dare. The day of fever is here. Antimatter composite impact hammer. Very nice. 64.45 DPS, 109 melee armor penetration. And even now, we stand absolutely no chance against that beta poly armor. Hello? Anybody in there? Carefully. Okay. Carefully. It still is very, very strong. I know we were able to take it out before. We don't have the Eternium Longsword. That was stolen. I mean, we got it from the Vikings, right? It's only fair they should probably want that back. Wow. Huh, without the Eternium Longsword, these things really do, uh... These things really do take a bit of a beating, eh? It does seem to be permanently stunned, though? Is that a side effect of the Impact Hammer? Giant Magnetized Hammer. Impact! It's not quite, hey, your expressage, though, is it? Well, okay, yeah. We can keep enemies permanently locked down. It doesn't matter how strong they are. All we've got to do is kill them before Rome collapses. Oh! Well, that was easy, I suppose. Oh, man. We, we didn't actually ever get through its armor again. Death by a thousand cuts. Now, out of absolutely everything we crafted, I'm curious which ones do the most damage now. Still the power fists. Wow. I can't believe they're... They are so far ahead. If we could find a way just to get the DPS of the Power Fist, but with none of the knockback, but with the armor penetration of some of the other weapons, I feel like all this stuff was, was a complete waste. Even with 35 DPS and 108, you saw how long it took Ohm to take out that big monster. What if we try stuffed Steel Virtuous Treaty? 98 armor penetration. And out of all of these stuffable weapons, it's got the highest DPS as well. And if that fails, we could go back to Element X32. And we can actually go back to Element X32 in a big way now. Because we can tell these drills to specifically try and mine Tiznight. No, nope, even now, 27.39 melee damage per second. Back to the drawing board we go, little ohm. We could 
try and get hyper alloy. That'd be quite nice. Oh, it's ultra tech. We can't even deal with the people in our current era. We don't want to. We don't want to start messing around with ultra tech factions. All I have to do is figure out how to kill an invincible Viking. It shouldn't be difficult. I guess we'll try the Element X three two three thousand five hundred work each. Yeah, okay. Oh, don't you move? Drop that sword right now. Element X three two virtuous treaty seventy. Only ninety eight melee armor penetration though. Ah! It's impossible. These people are impossible to kill. Adamantium. We haven't tried adamantium for a while, but we could try adamantium. I'll, ta I I'll, I'll take anything at this point, please. Just a crumb of hope. <gasps> yes. Who needs melee weapons when we can make ourselves melee weapons? Nano machines. <laughs> Nano machines. <laughs> I, I can't do it. All right, move on. Hyperweave. I love hyperweave. We'll make sort out of hyperweave. Yes. Biomechanical tissue application. Unlocks the organ growing works bench right where's that freaky little zombie no oh, captain cuba it's heart attack town again and visa oh this is like a non-fatal well i might fucking might be given that she's taking the time to get to the fucking hospital what the hell are you doing you're having a heart attack and you're gonna go and drill for oil and visa's just a goddamn proud american patriot there you go now she's realized hang on a minute she's probably gonna get this looked at in your own time roy whenever you're ready oh well shit and in other good news well, I mean, not that heart attack's good news. Avion and Arcadius II. So we have two possibilities for weapons that can hopefully defend us against invulnerable Vikings. The first thing we're going to try is an Adamantium Virtuous Treaty. The Virtuous Treaty has the best compromise between armor penetration and actual damage, but you don't get quality levels for it. And that means that the second weapon we're going to try actually still might be better. That being the drill spear. Because this is also stuffable and I believe is affected by quality levels, so we can make a legendary masterwork one of these. I have a feeling that would be better. And to be honest, I'd be a lot happier sidestepping from fisting to drilling. So let's see who can make the better weapon. Arcadius or Ohm. Ah, oh, there you go. Adamantium Drill Spear Masterwork. And then Arcadius has made a plain old Adamantium Virtuous Treaty. 56.23. It's it's weaker than the antimatter one, so I think there's no question that the uh, I think the drill spear is gonna be much, much better. Okay, there it is. 87.85. 98% armor penetration. Wow, they're all just they're incredible. Don't get me wrong. Base game remote standards. These things are insane. But given what we're fighting, they're pretty mediocre. I thought I'd test the antimatter composite as well because that's easier to make. Only 41.54 DPS. So I guess we're all in adamantium drilling. We've also got new lovers. <gasps> My god. Strupris tried to attract Ohm by lauding his construction skill. Wow. There you go. Look at that. Holy crap. I replied by saying, I just had a momentary vision about a helpless chief running from an emotionless mugger. Oh, I think that's a memory, not a momentary vision. Wow. This is at a wedding too. That's so nice. Omen Strupris, our two oldest colonists. Oh, Dawn. Poor sweet Dawn. Refreshing sleep caused Dawn to drop. Oh, that's too good. That is... She's got eyes on her torso? D Dawn? <laughs> you ever have such a good sleep that eyes grow out of your torso? <laughs> that's cursed. That really is cursed. And speaking of cursed, it's Randy. Okay, we can deal with Randy. Home's first love. He will never forget you, Dawn. Even though all you did was lie in a hospital bed. What the hell's going on with the Brig Lebowski? What is that on your feet? Uh, I think you stepped in something. Wow, that's um ridiculous. And it is probably going to take quite a long time to get enough resources to make all of these. Please be generous, old Randy, because the power fists really do fuck up our kill box. I mean, look, we've got three crafters. Let's get a little home back in the lab. Well, I mean, not so little home anymore. Big, strong, muscly home. Ah, yes, the secrets of Arcadius himself. Gotta do some research into how to apply your organ. While Arcadius deals with all the boring stuff like, you know, making weapons that are actually capable of getting through the armor of some of our enemies, we're gonna have Ohm out here turning Captain Cuba into a monster. Well, more of a monster. No, you leave when I say you can leave. Overclocked auto assembler. What the hell is that? Produces work at a standard of a level one dunce, but works quickly. 
We don't need it to work well in a mine. We need to work just as fast as possible. That could be high tier. Resilient tissue framework. Oh, I was thinking I needed myself a calcium alloy rib cage. Oh, we got another one straight away. Biological framework application. Oh, complex organ application. Unlocked butcher's nails. These imperfect organs are made to enhance the latent aggression of a being, turning them into a force of nature on the battlefield. Whether their constant desire to shed blood makes them highly likely to run mad. I mean, the man's already a zombie. Minus 30% melee cooldown. Oh, man. Auxiliary heart. Oh, this all sounds so good. We can get this one anyway. It doesn't matter. Damn, Captain QB. You get yourself a nice vacuole. Grasping like return to monkey. Man, how many of these are there? I don't know if the man's body's got room for all this shit. Weaponized germ engineering. Yeah, I'm, I'm up with that. Partial body structure reconfiguration. Tentacle cluster. Is that it? Are we done with it? Oh, it's tech printed. So we can get partial body structure reconfiguration. Then after that, that's it. So at that point, we'll build a whole bunch of organ vats. And then we'll see what we can do to this poor man. I mean, as if we haven't already done enough to him. Look at all this stuff. This is going to take me ages to figure out what we actually want from it all protein slag <laughs> that's just an incredible only fans name nano mechanites i have a feeling they made it the biofuel refinery oh shit it might all be in that case let's throw down another another refinery altogether then any sort of meat <laughs> take it I, I mean i don't think we've got any meats i hate to say it oh but shit look we can use what we grow we need some mad hydroponics then so we've got the ecosystems from vanilla expanded I get the feeling at this point, though, that stuff's probably pretty weak. Holy crap, look at this thing. When placed in a greenhouse, consumes vast amount of electricity to control air gas composition. Plants growing within the greenhouse will grow at two times the regular speed during the day and will keep growing at one time speed during the night. Whoa. An enclosed room up to the maximum size is considered to be a greenhouse. Wow. Okay, so we need a big-ass empty room, then. I mean, we've got this one here we could use... Hmm, can we reinstall that? Okay, we're going to turn this into the crematorium. We've got something here called Nanotech Hydroponics. I do love nanomachines, son. Oh, I might be remembering this wrong, but I'm fairly certain nano mechanites you get from mechanoids, unsurprisingly. And if that's the case, we can't do anything about it until we get to the next stage. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. We could just fill the whole room with these. They move so fast anyway, they could basically jump over the top in no time at all. Well, they really weren't joking. Holy crap. You could just sit here and watch it, and in no time you got a whole field of rice. Now, what was that plant we were able to convert down? So we've got a couple of choices. We've got pearl apple. Okay. You also apparently turn medicine. Oh, you use medicine. Got it. Uh, pearl apple or we could grow the striker. Oh, uh, we can't grow the pearl apples. Well, I guess it's these then. Uh, I think these only grow in the dark, too, so we might want to maybe turn these lights off. And then somewhere in here, hang on, uh, Drone Cultivator Mark Three, Mechanite XL Cultivator? I don't remember how it works. Let's throw one of those down. That could be it. Oh, Penny! High tier play! She's just single-handedly, well, potentially saved the Gravy Plasma Dynasty. Holy crap. So I've also built a sprinkler, and it says that increases growth rate by two hours per round, Effects are stackable. So we can just fill all the empty empty slots in this room with more and more sprinklers. Home's out digging up the desert because it turns out you need glass to make a biofuel refinery. All this technology and the man's still got to go out there and shuffle sand. <laughs> huh. Yeah, it really does stack, huh? <laughs> just breathe this in for a second. And then realize we got to turn these mushrooms into straight up bioweapons. I've had to crank up the priority on the resource console so that we can try and spit out some more new training because we're going to need a shitload of medicine for this, I think. Okay. Mechan... Oh, make nano mechanites. What do you need? One corpse. Let me guess. It's mechanoid corpse, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> Shit. Uh, well, look, if we get a quest, we have to take it. There's, there's really no choice. Oh, there it is. Hey, look at this. Susamu, thank you. Come on, I'm going to ask for it. We need mechanoids. Is there a way we can summon mechanoids? There is with, uh... There is with the Arcotet mod, but we're a little bit, little bit far away from that. You guys want me to kill some mechanoids for you? I'll do it. Let's kill a Neuron. In return, you give me 93 Cosmic Catalyst fuel cells. Say no more. Where is it? I mean, shit, yeah, I'll do that. Come kill my big goat in exchange. I'll give you limitless power. He doesn't need food. 
Is it, is it genuinely going to take two seconds? Oh, no. Oh, no. Every friggin' time I send Ohm away, the crushers of force. All right, Ohm, turn around. Cassandra Classic is in charge. Who the friggin' hell are the... Oh, God, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> 78 of the most overpowered faction. You know. Uh, it's, just, it's just a Tuesday, isn't it? If they immediately kill Strupris, I will cry. Oh, no, that poor trade caravan. <laughs> yeah, you're, uh, you're definitely in the wrong neighborhood here. Holy shit, these weapons. What the fuck are they using there? That's these things, right? These ER MRG1 rifles. They're just, I mean, 120% armor penetration is insane. Holy shit. No. No. Not like this. Caravan's arrived, by the way. <laughs> Let me get some cover there, big man. Let me, let me get to... Okay. Well, I had to say it. I think they've seen him. Remember, we can't deflect fire damage. What the hell do we do? We got through this door. I think it's about the only thing we can do. Okay. Okay. Jump to there. Run like hell to there. Let's go here. And then we've, we've got a choice. We either go far away as possible and, and follow up the edge of the wall. Or we just take the shortest route and go for the gamble. Let's just see if we make it there first. Oh, fuck. Oh, um. oh I got hit. Well, okay. It's the burns. Uh, the burns are the one. We, we can't negate the burn damage. I think we go here, here, book it that way. Run up past this bit. Put a little bit of line of sight between us and them. Go up to here. And then safe. Good luck. Good luck, little home. Oh, shit. The camel. The camel took a shot for us. It also drops some tech prints. Thank you, camel. Very cool. He's doing it. He's beginning to believe. Holy shit. What did it drop? Psychic area mood proliferation. <gasps> oh. It's from revolved organs. Well, that's good. Pseudo invisibility. Oh, my God. Look. More. More of those. That's exactly what we needed. Okay, squad. No pressure. But we do need to get into position here. We... Uh, uh, someone is going to die. Somebody is gonna die. There it is. That's the best I've got. On the plus side, though, we've got landmines. <laughs> ah. My god, they are so fast. They're so unbelievably fast. Okay, team. Here they come. I'm sure the landmines will stop them. Fucking unreal. Get him. Get him. Get him. Nice, nice, nice. Good place, good place, good place. Ah, oh, shit. See, now that's... That's why we need to swap these fucking things out. Get get them. Back off. Time to micromanage. Boy, I love micromanaging. Stop screaming, madam. Okay, here they come. And back in. Good, good, good. Nice. Okay, back off. Fucking unreal. Unreal. Let's also disable jetpacks. Man, these doors are prone to be a bit of a pain in the ass. They work against regular enemies. Enemies that move at 600% move speed. Not really, not really so ideal. Good work, good work, good work, good work. Okay. And back in. Nice. Turn off fire at will. That's, that's going to be essential. Get in there. Cut them off. Nice work, nice work, nice work. The landmines are just, they're just doing nothing for us. Good punch, good punch. Get in there. Shotgun diplomacy is getting peppered. Pull him out. This is insane. This is insane. What if we just hold the fucking doors open and maybe they'll just par through to us? I'm going to have to give it a go. Big risk. Big reward. We might just be giving him a, 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 a free way in and avoiding basically the entire kill box, but shit, it might also keep our people alive. Wang! Okay, someone's shield just went down immediately there. Fuck. Oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. Doable. Smelly. Smelly, body block him. Oh, man. This is, this is too much. 
Okay, get in there. And then you guys back off again. Good shit. You get back in position there. Oh, Wang's shield is down. Okay. That's everybody in the right position. Hopefully, they'll use the power fist to punch. Oh, so you can see us from there. That's not going to work either. Okay, get back, get back, get back, get back. J-Man. Get out of here, J-Man. Vendeldort needs help. Oh, he's, he's punched them through the walls. He doesn't give a shit. This is actually working. This is working. Greg Lebowski, get out of the way. Yes. Good shit, good shit, good shit. Shotgun diplomacy, you've got a lot to bite on there, my friend. Holy shit. Greg Lebowski, come off. Let's get you standing there instead. Oh, no, this is horrible. We need more people if this is going to work. Okay, kill him. Kill him. I'm going to have to micromanage the little guys. Oh, they're through. They're just like straight up through. Right, get him. Get him. Wang, punch. Fendeldor, get in there. What a complete fucking mess. You kill him. Then get back in position. You kill him. Shotgun diplomacy. Get Molly. <laughs> what is happening? Snowdog, I don't even know how the hell you ended up there. Nice. We're holding it. We're holding it down. The, the power fist is still proving to be a massive pain in the ass. Ohm. Kill. Molly. Shotgun diplomacy. Punch. You. Quite hard to click enemies that are... Uh, shotgun diplomacy is down. That clips into the wall. I won't lie to you. Uh, Wang, back off. Who are you shooting at? Smelly? Smelly? Fucking move over. Cuddles? Move over as well. Okay, here comes the next wave. Move forward. Move forward. Arcadius, get in there. I think... I think, sometimes I do promise, I think we take out the middle section, we use the people in the middle for the next raid to sweep up the ones that get punched through. Granted, it's probably not going to happen very often, but if we have a situation like shotgun diplomacy used down, it'd be good to have someone back up and ready to go. We also need to reinforce these walls. Turns out they're breaking sooner than we are. Right, back off them. Who are you shooting at now? Are you shooting at the Brig Lebowski? Get out of there, Brigadier Lebowski. You kill Star. Wang is down. Oh, fuck. Don't punch him that far, for Christ's sake. Oh, what was that? Get him. Bonds, move up. Brig, move down. Help him out. Help him out. Help him out. We're taking a lot of survivors. Oh, man. But we're paying a fucking heavy price. I need you to move there. No, no, no. I don't care about... Hang on. Let's do one of those. Help him out. For God's sake, help him out. Isabel's back there. Let's get Brig Lebowski down to tidy up her. They are holding it down, though. These guys are fucked. Okay, move forward. Hairs from putting in a loop. Someone's gone. Someone's gone. Who the hell died? Snowdog. Snow Snowdog? Oh, Snowdog died and was immediately sucked into the machine. I don't even know where they got shot. Might have been here. Fuck. I knew we were going to lose someone. The walls are giving it faster than we are. This might be a search and destroy situation at this stage because the walls, it's pointless trying to jog on them when we haven't got any walls left. Kill them all. Kill them all, team. Fuck the cover. Time to get them. Let the jetpacks go if we have to. Why are they just standing there? Kill them! Only a few more. Only a few more. Come on. Is that the entire lot? Have we actually done it? Holy crap. There's a tiny child. I do as torment dark commands. Ohm? Who's torment dark? Nice. Nice. That's it. Punch that child. Punch that fucking child. Get it, um. Hit that child with your hammer. Bang. Oh my god, right in the neck. <laughs> oh, that is an incredible mental image. This bionic juggernaut of a man walking up behind this clueless child and swinging a hammer bigger than it right at its head. It's like golf, but it's with children. How are we looking? How are our people doing? Cobalt, three conditions need tending, otherwise fine. Bons is okay. Fendeldorp, Fendeldorp. 15 conditions in the intended, but other than that, fine. Shotgun diplomacy is in a little bit. Man, it's all just bruises. The armor fucking paid off. It really paid off. The, the burn's obviously stacking up there. Those are the end bullets. Like I said, the massive armor penetration guns. Luckily, at close range, they're a bit shit. So this worked really, really well for us. Susumu still lost a stomach, which is a pretty big deal for Susumu, I suppose. Wang, though. Poor dangling Wang almost got barbecued. That's manageable. We've got survivors, more to the point. Todd Rowlin. Sounds so innocent. Todd Rowlin. Uh, 47. Not interested in you. Saunders. Sir, Sergei Saunders. Uh, again, it's like, okay. A 10 mining. <sighs> I'm sorry. We need younger people. I'm sorry. I can't. 
I can't go with this. 16 year old male. To Gower. Okay, okay, 10 crafting. What's Tycoon? Ah, uh, Midnight for Silver. Oh, trade price improvement plus 25%. That actually could be massive when we're buying blueprints that cost 50k each. All right. Shigekatsu, you're mine now. Strip the rest. Strip the rest. Oh my god, there's one more. A seven-year-old. Chancellor. Children are our specialty. Come on, little Yakov. Come on, little Yakov. Oh, you... He's supposed to be stealthy. Is he fleeing? Get him. Bonk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm well aware it's a child. I have no sympathy. I have no sympathy for the commandos. They killed Siala. Get them stripped. If there's any speed skin suits, I want them. Good. Good. Hey, you guys remember Siala? Yeah, she sends her regards. Okay, let's show up these walls. And I, and I think removing the middle segment is absolutely the way to go. So we'll just take all of these central doors and get rid of them. I'm also going to build these right up to the very edge. So that we can have one person holding the line if if it's an emergency. Oh my god, we had a trauma savant. I was gonna say it's not Ohm, is it? Toy Boy Roy. Wow. That's considered sacred in this colony. He's an echo of Ohm himself. Look at that. Only 9 out of 12, so it really wasn't that much damage. Well, after that minor distraction, Ohm was heading back out to go and club that goat, but apparently three industrials from the secure coalition of Aurora wanna take his hat. I don't think I'm gonna let you take Ohm's hat. Oh, Oh, no, no, no. Ohm's taking your hat. Really makes you wonder what was going through their head, huh? Well, right now I'll be a giant hammer, but... Taste my antimatter composite. <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> just the sound effect of him leaping and then hear something scratching is just so good. Leaves nothing to the imagination, does it? What was that? Cobalt, what's wrong with you? Oh, no. The aging effects again. Oh, he's 94, though, to be fair. We could always make him an Arcotech brain. That That is a potential with this mod. As opposed to the other edge mod that just made their chests explode. Oh, here they are. You know, I don't think I've ever killed these ones before. I'm sure this will be a fair and even fight. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wow, they're actually pretty goddamn tanky, aren't they? Holy crap, I really did underestimate these guys. Either that or Ohm's hammer is nowhere near as good as I expect. Expected. Um. The impact hammer occasionally causes things to explode? Maybe it's when you deal a fatal blow to them? No, it's definitely not that. Well, I have no idea. Occasionally things explode. That must have been the explosion we saw in the kill box. There's one and two. Whoa. Okay, this could be high tier. Three. Oh my god, we've got 72 bodies to go through. Well, this could take a while. Can I not say select similar and then strip? Ah. Oh, Ohm's back. Hello, Ohm. Don't mind Strooper. She's just, um, sorting things out. Oh, the mystery. How many speed skin suits will we get? Okay, here we go. 21? The first raid, we got like, we got like six. Okay, who doesn't have a skin suit then? Line up. You know what, Struppers? We'll go ahead and give you one straight away. Oh no, this coming another raid already, can it? Oh, thank God. It's a medieval arms and armor merchant. Okay, I think that's everybody then with the speed skin suit. Home is good. Struppers and Fiza, Keg Denta. Oh, this is incredible. The entire colony has the incredibly overpowered, well, with the exception of Dangly Wang, but got bigger problems right now. We've done it. We've done it. This is this is insane. I think having to build a bunch more recyclers because you've just got too much stuff from a raid is... I think that's a pretty good problem to have. In hindsight, let's hope we don't get a raid anytime soon because this kill box is really not ready to go. Did you just... You just lower a man's resistance from 50.8 to 7.5. What's your social? 18.84? What the fuck? Fuck. Well, that just seems incredibly unbalanced. And I can't believe that any part of this mod pack isn't a totally balanced experience. Unlocks godly crafting. All right, I'm in. The killbots can wait. We could potentially get some fancy robots out of this. Fucking love fancy robots. And with that, my friends, the Johnson Tanaka drive is complete. And that leaves us with one last research before we can move on into a whole new era. Beyond Spacer into Ultra Tech. And I can't believe we're not already Ultra Tech, given that we have antimatter armor, giant impact hammers, plasma fusion reactor. You know, 
normal stuff. Normal stuff running, spacefaring nation. We do have this repeatable productivity research, which someone pointed out does break tech advancing. So you have to set tech advancing to like 95% just to stop it. Otherwise, you'd be stuck doing this forever, right? We have to complete it once, but when we're done with that, we are through into the next era. Unfortunately, you now I have some bad news. We've also had a raid. And they are not happy about the fact that we are almost in a whole new world. What is that? Oh my god, it's a... Oh, it's a trade caravan. Or at least it was a trade caravan. The Blue Moon Corporation. I remember these guys used to be quite tough, but maybe I'm misremembering. They are just a, a, a generic kind of high-tier space attack faction by the looks of it. Charge weapons, coil guns. Coil guns could be a slight problem, I will admit. Yeah, certainly nowhere near as bad as the Commando. So it's something just to uh, soften us up a bit, I think. That is fucking horrifying. So tomorrow, we will bat away the Blue Moon Corporation like the flies they are compared to Ohm. And then we'll move into Ultra Tech. And this is where things go from being kind of overpowered and a little bit esoteric to full on batshit crazy. Industrial era was actually very normal. This era, things start to go off the rails, but uh, it's, it's com compared to the next stage, things are going to go very weird. Thank you for watching the continued adventures of Ohm. I hope you're still enjoying the series as much as. You were when we started things off. It's it's very slowly evolving into a into a whole new beast, and I think things are really gonna ramp up tomorrow hard. Thank you to the patrons who allow it to ramp up hard. It sounds a little inappropriate in hindsight. Thank you to it's Steven, Antolino, Dreamer, Bling Magica, Twinborn Mink, Crimson, Narfulf, Siphon, Solothol, Elite, IMP, Mr. Moosh, Flying Spaghetti Monster, Methanius, Brittany Lee, Brady, Mythomatic, CS Grebo, and Dirt Nerd for their support the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you for making the Adventures of Own possible in the first place, and thank you for making the other Ideology series possible as well, and also the Noiter series possible as well, and whatever series I've got going on right now. Honestly, it's kind of difficult to keep track myself. Thank you as well, of course, to the following patrons, including Hadkim, Frobear, The Vegan, Kyle, Jesus, Flying Potato, KG Evans, Prince Medixis, Bucky, Mr. Cases, Lego Red Dragon, K-Shot, Blue Chaos, Mr. Hanky, Cryden Eleven, Betamus Max, Quagasol, and Remdul. 